A successful dental practice will often use associates, and we call these associate ships, or here in the nacho land, we like to call it as the associate nachos. And Dr. Paul Goodman is joining us now from the offices and the dental headquarters of Dental Nachos there in Philadelphia. Dr. Paul, thanks for being with us today. Oh, thanks for having me, Terry. Set out some nachos for you in our Slogan, more happiness, uh, generate more happiness in your life by decreasing annoyance. So I'm glad to talk to you about that today. I like that. That sounds like a really good idea. Well, then let's talk about that to get that annoyance out of there. Sometimes there's some problems with these associate ships. There's something that can happen. They go wrong. Tell us a little bit about why and specifically how you recommend that they can fix some of these major problems. It's a great question. And, you know, it all starts with dental school teaches you a lot of technical knowledge but doesn't teach you a lot of business or non-clinical skills. So dentists largely work by themselves in solo practices. And when they want to incorporate an associate, sometimes they do it more by feelings than by actual hard numbers in their practice. And when they go wrong, uh, the number one reason is that the owner dentist does not have enough extra work or extra nachos for the associate dentist to do to make a living. And sometimes this goes, they start with great intentions, but if they don't really identify how much extra production they have in their practice to share with an associate, the associates these days, Terry, have tremendous school debt and they need to make a living to pay their loans and their living expenses. Yeah, that would make sense. So there are a lot of problems on that. And uh, are there specific ways that you recommend that dentists can make sure they get rid of these kind of annoyances? I mean, one easy one is on the job interview process. We have some webinars that talk about the job interview process for young dentists. Uh, is to ask a dentist when they say, I'm really, really busy and I need to have help. Uh, I tell the person asking for the job or interviewing, uh, when is your next crown appointment available, available, uh, doctor? If I was coming in for a crown, when could I get into your schedule? And if you don't hear four weeks or more, that dentist is just not busy enough to have an associate. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you've got a lot of good information. I know you've helped many, many dentists that have questions. How can someone get in touch with you if they say, hey, I want to find out about this uh, Dr. Nacho guy. He seems like he knows what he's talking about. What's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Well, I I enjoy sharing nachos both in person uh, and online. So we have a lot of live events here in Philadelphia, bringing dentists together that you can find out about on dentalnachos.com or just email me at paul at dentalnachos.com. It's an easy email and we can share some nachos. Very good. Dr. Goodman, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, Terry.